Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video, and I am here to show you the Giganto Pithecus. Now, this guy right here is pretty awesome. A lot of people forget about its special abilities, and it's got quite a few. I think one of the most common, and you're probably like, why is he down in the darkness of the ab zone? Why would you do that? First off, the area that I'm in, just so you know, um, give or take, it's about 70, or I guess 65, 65 is about the best coordinates I can give out for it. It doesn't have radiation right here. It's like a little pocket of freedom. You can hop on a Giganot, or not a Giganotosaurus, a Gigantopithecus, and harvest yourself some polymer. Now, how do you do that? You use his third attack, so his tertiary attack, and per polymer plant, this bad boy is going to harvest you like 60, 70 polymer without leveling melee. This is an unleveled 150 perfect tame. Now, let's say you want to get a whole ton of polymer. I want to go ahead and jack this guy's weight up. Now, this is not going to be a war one, and I'll talk about war ones in a minute here. We're going to jack up the melee as well. Put this melee way up. Same with the weight, so. Now, this guy is basically a pure polymer harvesting machine. Now, all I have to do is run around, and there's not really anything down here that I'm going to have to worry about. It's a little slower than the bear because you can't bite and run at the same time. you got to do like this little pick attack as you get up to these white polymer plants down in the ab zone. But this thing can collect so much polymer quickly, it's not even funny. And he's very competent in defending himself. Now, he does take radiation damage, so you got to be careful about that. Um, but I guess if you can get a ab version of it, I don't think he does take radiation damage, which is quite nice. And as we continue to go down here, you'll see there are tons of these things. They continually respawn, so it's not like it's something that you really need to worry about. And we're going to keep go ahead and, you know, blah, 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 get this stuff. That's a lot of organic polymer that I did not have ahead of time. Look at that. So. It's a great way to get yourself some organic polymer. Just bring a transmitter down here and you can end up with thousands on thousands on thousands of organic polymer. Really quite easy and it spawns back so fast it's almost funny. So you can literally just like loops down here and end up with an excessive amount of polymer. So that is one of the great uses of the Gigantopithecus. Now let's talk about a few more. A lot of people forget about this. But the Gigantopithecus, like this guy right here, has a really, really, really high health stat. And because he has the ability to wear armor, he can actually be a pretty decent tank. Now, I'm just going to keep raising this just to show you. I mean, we're sitting at 25,000 armor. That's not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and heal him up so you can see what, what it looks like without, you know, a never-ending pile of... Ugh. So... Now we've got a really good amount of health on this guy. One last thing that he can do that a lot of people don't know about is he can pick up tames. Now all you got to do, not this one, this one's bad, 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 bad. I'll show you that one in a second. Where are you going? Come back here. There. So if you hold his tertiary attack, he can pick up and throw up shoulder mounts, which is quite nice, obviously, because you're, you know, it's nice to have one on your shoulder. How did you not pick him up? Thank you. There you go. Now, he can jump, he's mobile, he's fast, and he moves really kind of stealthfully, if you ask me. But that's my personal opinion. Now, he does 66... I mean, this is reduced damage, so these things are actually pretty tanky because they have light nearby. So keep that in mind. But he does a pretty good amount of damage to him. Come on now, buddy. I need you to finish killing this thing, please. Come on. Level 13. There we go. Okay. Now, for things that aren't light based, he does do increased damage. 132, as you can see right there. And he will shred things pretty well, which is not too bad. He does a little bit of reduced damage to these right here. Oh, apparently the glow tail gets hit off his shoulder, so that's unfortunate. Did not know that. Come on, big guy. Really? These things are taking a while to go down. Okay, we're going to go ahead and run from these things because... Well, I don't feel like fighting them right now. I'm going to bring in my other my other friend. 
Now he is really fast, as you can see right now. And look at these polymer plants are already spawned back in. And here comes my other Gigantopithecus, who does a lot more damage than me. And uh, there's that one. And this one's almost dead too. There it goes. So, And basically, what I'm mentioning right now is the more that he has... I'll go ahead and hop off and let him deal with his shenanigans. Um, the more... Come here. Come on. The more armor that he has on his helmet, because you can see he's got the helmet on right now, um, the more... Oh, what the heck? Weird. The more actual damage he can soak. Now, one last cool thing about the Gigantopithecus is that he's got a really neat ability. If you're in a dire situation or you need to get over something or you need to do something, check this out. So I can sit over here, hold my right attack, and boom. He can launch me at a million miles an hour off his shoulder, which is quite nice, obviously. Especially if you want to get up and over a few things. Oh, my guys, they're jumping off the edge now. That's nice. Or let's say you want to go get rock drake eggs, but you want to go about it the easy way. You can do a lot of different things. So, Gigantopithecus are really awesome tames. They've got great late tame and or late game intention because of that ability to pick polymer, but they've also got that ability to kind of tank a little bit, and they're good overall tames. I really do like the Gigantopithecus. Um, they're up there for one of my favorite tames, but more of a grindy tame than anything else. But anyways, other than that, hope for this little video helps you out, and uh, Teacher's Game 2, out.